Good morning, everybody. I think it's after eight now, 8.03. I've been up for about an hour, and mom got up a little bit before I did. Were you up at 6.30? Um, yeah, I think so. And it's cloudy again today, so we skipped the sunrise again today because I don't wanna get up for a sunrise we won't even be able to see. And I know it might be pretty through the clouds. I'm not, I'm not doing it. I'd rather sleep. That's what vacation is for. We've well, been sitting here. We saw it through the window. Well, we did kind of see it through the window. And of course the window is dirty, so we can't take Show pictures you. because if the window's dirty, you know, you'll get to see is a dirty window. But if you've seen the sunrise before, you've seen it, it looked the same. Well, before. yeah, the sun comes up every day and it, I, whatever. Anyway, we, might catch it, yeah. we did kind of watch the ship come into Cozumel because, you know, we've been up for an hour with the windows open and window curtains open. And so we just kind of watched the ship sail into Cozumel. We have made up our mind that we're not going to get off today. That's a question. I think we she's have. nodding. I don't think we're gonna get off. We could go either way. I I don't know. I we both kind of don't feel a hundred percent today. Yeah, I think I'm just getting ready to nervous, get home. ready to go home. Yeah, we've got today and tomorrow, and then it's time to go home. And when she's ready to do something, she's ready to do it right now. So she probably could get on a helicopter and go home right now. Yeah, I could. Fine. I could. Yeah. I actually thought she about that have, this morning. She doesn't have anything packed. She's just like, she's decided in her head it's over uh, and it's time to go home. Which kind of makes my vacation shorter because <laughs> she'll talk about vacation being over before it's actually over. Oops. Anyway, I'm still on vacation. She may not be. I'm. If you are ready to go, just pack up all the stuff and I will just wear a swimsuit for the rest of the trip and then I'll put on my sweatpants <laughs> when it's time to get on the plane. Um, there is something I want to do today since we are in Cozumel today. I've actually connected to the internet We lost internet for several days several days ten days. No, not ten no, days four days maybe well, Since the day before we went through the canal We haven't had any internet no iMessage and of course I'm uploading a video every single day to YouTube I've got Emma checking my comments trying to keep things nice on the internet, which Sometimes. Sometimes it's difficult, and I don't know Why? how that's been going, but since we're in Mexico and we've got service in Mexico, I want to check our flights today, mm -hmm. our flight home, and make sure we still have a flight home. And our check our transportation. Yes, we need to call the shuttle company and make sure that that's confirmed. So there are some things that we are going to do today while we're here in port. But I don't think we're gonna get off the ship. I think we'll just stay here. It's after eight, so mom wants to go to the French Quarter Lounge for coffee and a beignet, beignet, two beignets. I'm hungry. I know we had Paolo dinner last night, and when we went to bed I was not hungry, but it's morning now, and I'm kinda hungry, and I really, really, really want some coffee. So I think that's the plan for the morning. I just put on my swimsuit, mom put on her swimsuit. So we might spend some more time by the pool, but it's really cloudy and overcast again today. We'll probably get rained on again today, but I'm working my way through this monster of a book. They are in the woods of Lori, and if you know the Lord of the Rings, they have just looked in Galadriel's mirror. So that's where I'm at with that. Anyway, we're gonna go get some coffee and some breakfast and I'll pick you guys up later. We've got our beignets and our chocolate sauce. But Mama and I both think that the powdered sugar on top is sort of sad. It's not authentic, that's for sure. We finished our coffee and came outside and the sky is showing itself. It's blue and it's beautiful. We've camped out by the pool, by the Quiet Cove pool, and it is really quiet today. There's not very many people out here at all. Mom went and got us some actual breakfast food. They've got the sausage and egg, looks like a English muffin, and ham and cheese croissant, hash browns, and bacon and sausage. Nice, and she brought me a milk. That was really nice. Thanks, Mom. We got in the hot tub, dried off, got dressed. We're gonna leave now. <laughs> we came up to deck 10, and there's hardly anyone up here. There's a lot of rain out there. Look how blue 
the ocean is. I really hope that it's picking up on camera. It's so inviting. It makes me want to jump in. There's a carnival ship, maybe two carnival ships over there. It's kind of nice to see that it's maybe a little bit busy. There's not even a single soul sitting up here in a chair. There's two guys up there walking around the front of the ship, but nobody. Nobody, not like up there. Yeah, everybody was crowded up here on Panama Canal Day, but there is no one up here now. We found all the people. They're all on deck four. And you know... Yeah, this is comfy. You know what is funny to me is... Deck four is more quiet than the quiet cove. There's no music playing out here. It's just absolutely dead silent, like a library. So down here we found a gangplank. That is the forward gangplank. Some little bicycle taxis. And then all the way down at the end is the aft gangplank. I love the pier here at Cozumel. But it's a really long one, so if you're late getting back to the ship, it is a long hike slash run of shame to get back to the ship. This must be a port adventure down here. She's got a paddle. We're still sitting here on deck four, and there's a church bell playing Ave Maria. We are still on deck four, camped out. I don't plan on giving up my chair because this is actually more comfortable than the chair upstairs at Cove, at the Quiet Cove. I think probably because of the ergonomic curve, right? Mm -hmm. And, cushy. and they're, they're very, very cushy. But anyway, mom went up to Cabana's to get us a light snacky lunch. And then I ran down to French Quarter and got us some drinks. This is a screwdriver. And that is the drink of the day, the Tutti Frutti. And it is tutti frutti. And this is olive bread. Looks focaccia. like olive focaccia. <sighs> Yum. I truly have no idea if the color of this ocean is gonna pick up on camera, but it is so stunningly beautiful. I just wanna jump in and swim for a while. We've sat here long enough that now we're getting the three o'clock bells from the church. So we came back to the room after spending three and a half hours, four hours outside on deck four. Resting. Yeah, resting in the shade. No sunburn. Nice breeze. It was really beautiful. Not humid. The sky finally kind of cleared off. It, well, a little bit in places. Yeah. It didn't rain. It wasn't too humid. It wasn't too hot. It was really quiet, very peaceful. No music on deck four. And not a lot of people walking laps. Mm. Maybe Two. maybe five or six. Not all at the same time. No. Yeah. But we just came back to the room because we want to shower before dinner. And a really sad thing is happening. Um, these are our luggage tags, which we will need to get our bags through customs. I don't want to talk about that right now. I want to talk about these. This is our gratuity card. So $13.50 per day, per guest. And you put them in the envelopes for your server, assistant server, head server, and your stateroom host. And that's fine, but I want to mention, we've already been charged for that. A couple of days ago. It was posted to our onboard cruise folio that you can access on your app on your smartphone. But it was posted to our folio several days ago. So we've already been charged. If we want to add more, we go to guest services. If we want to take off some, 
we go to get services. If we like the amounts for each person, you leave it alone do and you don't do anything. Now, you can tear these apart and um, like it's perforated on the edge. So this one tells you it's for your server here, assistant server, head server, stateroom host. So you kind of tear it at the perforation, slip it in the correct envelope, and then what do you do next? Give it to them. So you like to give it to them. Yeah. You could also leave it in your stateroom. Yep. You also don't have to do this at all. You can if, also leave it at guest services. If you want to do something a little more personal, you could put it in a personalized card. But the only way to make sure that they get that is to give it to them directly. Correct. Right. So, I, I think I want to do some personalized cards. I brought some cards to write for some people. Okay. Well, let's go let's shower and go to the French Quarter. And sit and write some cards for a while? Yeah. I like that idea. Let's get ready for dinner now. Yeah. 3.15. That'll give us some time to write some cards. Yeah. I like that idea. I think we're ready for Christmas. Yeah. Let's do this. We want to get some pictures taken in our cruise spirit jerseys from 2019. Yep. There have been several people on this cruise that are like, where did you get those? I want one. Gift shop. They're old because there aren't any on this cruise, which is really disappointing. But anyway... We're going to go make some cards for some special people, have some drinks in the French Quarter Lounge, and then get some pictures taken before dinner. So we've done the four envelopes for our assistant server, head server, stateroom host, and our server. Mom has a glass of Prosecco. I have ordered the Madame Mimosa. Yummy. After like Madame Mi Medusa from The Rescuers. Because part of that movie takes place in the bayou. Is it Madame Mim? Madame Mim. Madame, Madame Mim is from The Sword in the Stone. Correct. Mad Madame Mim. But Madame Medusa is from The Rescuers. The first one. Thank you for clarifying that. Yes, so they're both madams. But I'm pretty sure this is after Madame Medusa. In the red dress with all the lipstick and the eye lashes and stuff. I didn't talk about this earlier, but at the bottom of the perforated sheet with the tips for these folks, there is an opportunity for you to become a marine conservation hero. You can add some money to this form, and I guess you turn it into guest services. And you can also pick up a conservation fund button at the guest services desk if you choose to donate, which is really cool. We're not going to do that. We, you know, have our own causes and this isn't one of them, but they do make it pretty easy for you to become a marine conservation hero. <laughs> well, I'm such a sloucher and it really looks bad on the film. But it's a slouching chair. So now we've got some cards out and yeah, they've got my name on them, but this is just what I thought to bring. But I want to write some personalized cards to some of our other heroes of the cruise, like the people who have made our coffee. And Leafton, Diwa, Freddie. Yeah, Freddie. Yeah, some of the really special important people that have made a difference in our cruise. So we're going to make some cards for them. And there might be some monetary thanks. Thanks in there. Cause, as well as a special card. Right, because they don't give you this for everybody on the cruise. So we like to make some people feel a little bit special because they made us feel special. Wilmer. Yeah, Wilmer. We are about ready to leave port. You can tell that it's ready to rain out there. But tonight is dinner in Tiana's place, and I think it's Mardi Gras night. Sounds like we're gonna have some live music tonight. Paper menus. Some of these are beets 
which looks like it's got three shrimp and a little bit of sausage. And over here we've got some live music and some beautiful dancing. One poor school teacher buddy would have me come over and babysit their kids. So they would go out with my parents or go out with other people. Mom got the sausage fritters for her second appetizer. And I got the charcuterie board with mustard and tiny pickles. Next is the tomato soup for me, and mom got the seafood pepper pot. Show me. Scallops and shrimp, and there are calamari swimming around in there also. This is mm, yummy. For dinner, I've got the sea bass, the Cajun sea bass, with some shrimp. And mom got, what did you get? The ravioli? The ravioli. Artichoke ravioli. Yes. It is beignet night. We've got beignets and beignets and beignets all around. Raspberry. Bananas foster and the raspberry. Raspberries. Lemon raspberries, right? Yeah. Yum. Oh, there's a right there. All right, the show tonight in the Walt Disney Theater is the crew talent show. And our stateroom host is actually in one of the acts and Nuna's in one of the acts. I'm really excited. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So tonight, they're playing the time-lapse from when we crossed through the canal, which is really, really cool. But it is almost showtime. <sighs> Sorry about the yawn, wow. Wow. <laughs> We're back from the show, and apparently- Wow, what a show. Apparently she's bored. No. <laughs> no. no. The show- Was tremendous. This was the crew talent show. And what talent. So these people do other things on the ship. There was one of the like deck crew, a couple of officers. Mm -hmm. um, I was brought to tears by more than one act. Mm -hmm. I was so impressed. It I was, was really impressed by so many of them and such varied talents from dance, uh, traditional... Cultural uh, dances. There was a Thai dance group, so they got all of the... Well, I don't know if it was all of them, but I'm guessing it was all of them or most of them or some of them that wanted to dance. But it, it was a bunch of women from Thailand who did a traditional Thai dance. Some that have only been under contract with Disney working on the ship for just a few months and mm -hmm. one for over 20 years mm -hmm. and then everything in between. Yep. And then there was a kid who sang and he's been with the company for two weeks. Two weeks mm -hmm. and marvelous voice. Yes. He sounded better than Bruno Mars singing a Bruno Mars song. Yeah, that was really impressive. I, yeah, one of the guys sang an Adele song to make you feel my love, and he dedicated it, I'm going to cry, to all of their families that are left at home. And I just thought that was really sweet. Because I imagine this has got to be really hard on them, I'm crying. Because they're leaving their families for months at and a time. And they can't get off for any reason. No, they can't get off the ship. If they get off, they can't get back on. True. Right, so, anyway, I'm a mess, but I just thought it was a beautiful show, talent show. There was a hula hoop girl. Oh, and wow, and she was tremendous with those hula was, hoops. Was she better than the circus performers that um, we saw last night? Because I think she was really impressive, yeah. And fun to watch, so yeah. entertaining. It was such a good she show. She had some really cool hoops. Uh, so they had a couple of kids the kids, uh, to me, if you're under the age of 45, you're a kid. So they had a couple of kids that work with the with the youth. Oh yeah, the uh, um, Oceaneer Club, I think. And I think they're both from Argentina, and they love jazz. They did and a they jazz did dance. A jazz dance. It was so much phenomenal. Fun. Yeah. They had a young kid uh, fella sing a <laughs> Frank Sinatra song. Oh my gosh, Lewis wow. sang. Um, New York, New York, and like I, the first the few bars, down. the first few bars played, and I thought this could go really well, 
or not so good not and it went fabulous um can he sing in like new year's eve like on tv yeah. in new york because he was that good oh my gosh it was fantastic he was that good it was so good what was the song that the lady in the green dress sang i don't know what that song oh was oh my gosh her but she voice, was fabulous tremendous. she had an immense uh, stage presence. Yeah. And I just loved watching her. She was so entertaining. We we're really rocking tonight. Yeah, and then the captain fell off. No, <laughs> the captain said five foot seas. This has got to be more than that. But yeah, he said yeah. it would be a little bit rough tonight. Mm -hmm. We well, were crossing right. the Gulf of Mexico. Yeah. So, anyway, we're back in the room. I think we're going to watch Mulan and maybe finish the cards for the cast yep. members yep. because we did not do that earlier today we were we in the front corner on. yeah we kind of got started i need to sneeze go ahead a chew i feel better we started working on it and some friends showed up and we got distracted with them so we yeah. put them away yeah so we can finish them tonight while we're watching mulan and listening to donny osmond because yeah because yeah and we gain an hour tonight so we have been put in eastern time zone since before the canal, mm -hmm. we've been in Eastern time, which is weird. Mm -hmm. And so tonight we go back an hour, we gain an hour. Yeah. Yeah. And we go, we'll, we go backwards an hour <laughs> and then we're going to take into that take central time. Again. And then when we fly home, we will lose the hour. Yeah. They'll take it away from us. <sighs> when we fly home to Florida, we go back to Eastern time. It's so confusing. Just keep changing your watch. That's what it gets down to. Just keep changing your watch. And don't get used to having more sleep or less sleep. Just go with it. Yeah. Whatever they say. Get up today. Okay. But I'm so glad we went to the talent show. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. Yeah. I would love to have a, a DVD. DVD of that. Yeah. I would pay for a DVD of that. Yeah. I I would pay $19.95 for that plus shipping. Yeah. Because they, gosh. Were that good. They were so good. They were that good. Yeah, I'm going to be a horse tomorrow because I felt like I kept shrieking. And everybody was <laughs> they were clapping. So great. And clapping and he, you know, the um the theater was full because there were so many cast and crew from around the ship there to support that finally their friends that got to get off and got to come to the second show so there were they quite got a time few. off. They didn't yeah. get off the ship. Yeah. They got time off today to off come of work. To the, yeah. To come to the show and support one another. It was so fun. It was so fun. And you could tell they were so proud of each other and so thrilled for each other for their success. Yeah. It was spectacular, absolutely wonderful, and I'm so glad that they did it. Mm -hmm. It was one of those things that I thought might go away with COVID. This is one of those things that they I'm do really on longer cruises. Is it just the Panama and maybe the and the, and Trans the transatlantic Atlantic. maybe yeah those are the only times i've ever seen the talent and we've been on some some eight night mm -hmm. cruises but we've never done a 10 or an 11 night we've done one eight night and it wasn't on that we'd one. have to ask our friends because they've done some of those longer cruises yeah but anyway it's a really special thing and so the cast and crew know that it's a special thing and i'm i feel honored to have been gifted Pardon? with their performance like yeah. it was so spectacular it was so much fun it was awesome i'm gonna cry again anyway that's gonna be it i think for tonight tomorrow is our last day boo but we're gonna do some fun stuff tomorrow like packing <laughs> and a chocolate and liqueur tasting we've got one more beverage seminar and then that's it yeah so you guys will see us if you're still watching this series you are dedicated and we appreciate it. And you have earned a cookie. Eat a cookie. <laughs> so that's going to be it for today. You guys will see us in tomorrow's cruise vlog. Good night. Go get your cookie. <laughs>